Well, staying heart healthy is a priority for all of us, and eating the right foods is one of the best ways that you can prevent heart disease. Leslie met up with one celebrity chef for a great recipe. Check it out. You might recognize her from the Food Network or on Top Chef. I'm here with Chef Michelle Bernstein, and Hi. we're going to whip up a dish that's geared to get women talking. Now, I don't think we need a special dish to get us talking. We all love to talk anyway, don't we? We love to talk, and we love to talk food. So maybe this will make us talk too much. I don't know. Yeah, what are we making? <laughs> we are making a beautiful poached pear dish. You know, it, this is all about Heart Healthy Month, and so we really wanted to do recipes that are reduced in sodium, reduced in sugar, fats obviously and just to get women and all of us really to get more vegetables and get more fruits in our diets. So you're supposed to so. wear red when you make this? You're supposed to wear red this month because you really want to raise awareness um, and get everybody just really heart healthy. What do we do first? Okay so I've got some lemon zest, some orange zest, a little bit of cinnamon stick and star anise. Ooh, it's citrusy. It is, of course it is, I come from Miami. Uh, some lemon and orange juice and some fresh squeezed apple juice or you can always get buy the natural kind of apple juice but just make sure it's got no sugar added. Very, very important. Some pears that have been peeled and cored. It's the perfect time of year for beautiful pears. Oh, those throw are gorgeous. In, I know, they're really pretty. And then throw them in a pot, cook them for about 20, 25 minutes. Okay. Then you get a really nice, perfectly poached pear. Take that liquid that's still in here and reduce it down until it becomes a syrup like this. Look, it's a little bit thinner oh, wow. than honey, but look how beautifully it coats the pear. Drizzle it on. Exactly. Ooh. So you want it to look really just kind of honey, luscious, creamy, you know? yeah, caramel. And then I take up a little bit of yogurt. If you want to sweeten it, you can use any kind of like your favorite artificial sweetener, just a little pinch. You don't want it to get to that, you know, that weird artificial taste in it. Okay. But yogurt has such a wonderful flavor on its own. I personally like it. Is kind this of plain just then? Plain, plain yogurt. yogurt. That's easy. Yeah. And then unless you want to, you know what? You could probably do some kind of yogurt with the fruit in it, and that would also be delicious. But a fruit that went well with pears like blueberries would be delicious. And then just top each pear with a little bit of that yogurt topping. And what am I doing? I'm kind of representing the creaminess in a dessert. Love instead it. of whipped cream, instead of mascarpone, I'm doing a really beautiful yogurt, then topping it with something as healthy as some nice unsalted walnuts, which is a really good antioxidant. And you're known for your Latin flair, so does this have <laughs> this in this recipe? No, it definitely does no. not. I'm kind of known for a little bit of everything. I'm American, um, my mother's from Argentina, I like a big mix of, of cuisines, I was French taught, so you'll always find little hints of my background kind of sticking into a lot of the recipes I do, but this is all about really heart healthy, super conscious about making sure we're just eating well and, and taking care of ourselves. So dessert is heart healthy. I love that. That's I a woman know. thing. Well, that's that why I did dessert thing. because it had to be something that I knew would get women's attention but would be heart healthy and something that women might actually make at home. Are we going to see you on TV more? Maybe. We'll see. All right. Well, we'll see. Thank you so much, Michelle. I love Thank it. Thank you. And back to you in the studio.